military weapons. How well do you know India's military? Join us and watch our video and share in the comments the new things that you learned from it. The Indian Armed Forces are the military forces of the Republic of India, comprised of three divisions, the Indian Army, the Indian Navy, and the Indian Air Force. Additionally, the Indian Armed Forces are supported by the Indian Coast Guard and paramilitary organizations and various inter-service commands and institutions. The Indian Armed Forces has the fourth largest defense budget in the world, which is $66.5 billion. The Armed Forces have four main tasks. To assert the territorial integrity of India. To defend the country if attacked by a foreign nation. To support the civil community in case of disasters. And to participate in United Nations peacekeeping operations in compliance with India's commitment to the United Nations Charter. Some interesting facts that you should know about the Indian Armed Forces include India has the biggest voluntary army in the world. All serving and reserve personnel have actually opted in for service. There is a provision for conscription in the constitution, although it's never been used. India controls the highest battlefield in the world, at 5,000 meters above the sea level. Operation Rehat in 2013 was one of the biggest civilian rescue operations that was ever carried out. The Central Armed Police Forces, which are referred to as paramilitary forces based on a colonial perspective, are not armed forces. As such, they're headed by civilian officers from the Indian Police Service and are under the control of the Ministry of Home Affairs and not the Ministry of Defense. These are central police organizations. India's first exclusive defense satellite, the GSAT-7, was successfully launched by European Space Consortium Arian Space's Arian 5 rocket from Kourou Spaceport in French Guiana in August of 2013, giving a major push to the country's maritime security. The Indian Navy succeeded in mission Dashkin Duruv by traversing to the South Pole on skis in 2006. With this historic expedition, they set the record for being the world's first military team to have successfully completed a ski traverse to the geographic South Pole. Of its personnel, the Indian Armed Forces have set up numerous military academies across India for training personnel. With a strength of over 1.4 million active personnel, it's the world's second largest military force and has the world's largest volunteer army. The Indian Armed Forces are the world's fifth powerful military. The age for voluntary military service in India is 16 to 18 years old and there's no conscription women may join as officers and serve in combat as pilots. Of their exercises, 
India often conducts naval exercises with other friendly countries designed to increase naval interoperability and also strengthen the cooperative security relationships. The Indian Navy took part in the world's largest naval exercise slash war game in 2014, along with 22 other nations and has since taken part in that exercise each year. When it comes to wars and operations, the Indian Armed Forces have been engaged in a number of major military operations, which include the Indo-Pakistani Wars of 1947, 1965, and 1971, the Portuguese Indian War, and more. India also honors its military forces annually each year on December 7th with Armed Forces Flag Day. Since 1962, the IAF has maintained a close military relationship with Russia, which includes cooperative development of programs such as the fifth generation fighter aircraft and the multi-role transport aircraft. When it comes to equipment, the Department of Defense production of the Ministry of Defense is responsible for the indigenous production of equipment that's used by the Indian Armed Forces. It comprises 41 Indian Ordnance Factories under the control of the Ordnance Factories Board and 8 Defense PSUs. India remains as one of the largest importers of defense equipment with Russia, Israel, France, and the United States being the top foreign suppliers of military equipment. The government of India has launched a Make in India initiative to indigenize manufacturing and reduce dependence on imports, which include defense imports and procurement. In the category of weapon systems, the Indian Navy operates K-missile family submarine launched ballistic missiles, along with Prithvi-3 ballistic ship launched missiles and a number of land attack cruise and anti-ship missiles like the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, the 3M54E and 3M14E club anti-ship land attack cruise missile, along with the KH-35 the P-20, the Sea Eagle, and Gabriel. When it comes to air power, it has a total aircraft strength of 2,082, which includes 520 fighters, 694 attacks, 248 transports, and a total helicopter strength of 692 with 17 attack helicopters. On land, it has 4,184 combat tanks, 2,815 armored fighting vehicles, a self-propelled artillery of 200, a towed artillery of 4,060, and 266 rocket projectors. And on water, it has total naval assets of 295, with one aircraft carrier, 13 frigates, 11 destroyers, 22 corvettes, 16 submarines, 139 patrol vessels, and a mine warfare vessel. 
Thanks for watching. What do you think about the Indian Armed Forces? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on for more great videos like this one in the future. And I'll see you next time.